Holger. Hey, um, I'm still so fascinated by getting, no, okay, excuse my words, it's just some random rambling, getting into presence this time when we start the meeting and when you finish the meditation, this shift that is happening during this seeming time, there's just like a, it feels like a, like a different dimension or just an opening up or like a removal of the person. And so the, openness right now it's just my natural normal state and how i came here was just like a confused yeah i don't know how to say it right now i just it's i really appreciate being here and it's wonderful Something is changing in the meditation. That's the mystery. Power of satsang. Yeah. It's amazing. Or was it uh, maybe Jesus who said, whenever two of you meet in my name, I'm among you or something like that? Yes, yes. I mean, that's the, the heart of satsang. Which, which is this alive, silent presence. And everything appears within that presence and somehow it carries the perfume of, of that invisible presence. And there is an inner resonance with that. It's a, it's a glimpse into the absolute. Satsang is a glimpse. Because it takes you there. Of course, uh, there meaning your very being, which is universal being. God's being, one being. the understanding that bypasses the mind. It's experiential.
it wonderful that it cannot be figured out. It cannot be abused. It cannot be. It's protected. It's. Only that which is subject to con to conditions is affected by changing conditions. But what you are talking about is not subject. It is the ultimate subject, and the only subject. chocolate ice cream. I love it. <laughs> Tara does not that to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's love. That's love. <laughs> It's really such a gift that we are here together. And I'm not aware that I did anything for it. I mean, it's a gift. I didn't do this. I mean, I didn't bring myself here. It was life that gave me the patience and uh, circumstances. Yes, and at the same time, it is your deepest desire. You are the ultimate reality, the only reality. And thy will is my will, my will is thy will. We are one. With the only doer, the only being, with there is no other, and this one is everyone and everything. Olga, can I ask a question while you're talking to to Maggie? Please. Maggie, is this sad song happening? as a dream state for the self, for the, for the consciousness, or is this really, okay, I'll leave it there. That's why that's, I that was just thought that was kind of crossing my mind. Yes. So there is a dream conversation about reality. And this dream conversation is a real conversation. So it's as if that which is dreaming the dream is exposing itself and revealing itself in the dream. But this revelation is a real revelation. It is not a dream revelation. It reveals 
it reveals itself in the dream, but it disrobes the king disrobes himself or herself reveals itself. Ultimately, to whom? To itself. Because what are the characters in the dream besides my creation? In this revelation, in this exposure, the dream characters lose their identification and recognize themselves experientially as freedom, love, beauty, creativity, peace. they can't simultaneously hold on to their personal identity. They're disarmed. They have no choice. Because their interest in the conversation, their interest in truth, has been ordered to them, has been, I don't like the word ordered, has been bestowed to them in a similar way that their personal identity and their personal dream has been bestowed to them by the dreamer. So there is no personal choice, in fact, there never was. The impression of personal choice is also bestowed onto the dream character from that which is dreaming them and dreaming their minds, dreaming their illusion of personhood and their illusion of personal choosing. As soon as you suspend your interest in your personal identification, as soon as you question and see through the me illusion and don't return to it for in the moment. You are out of the dream. And the dream is in you. Because in fact, it's always been the case that the dream is in you. It's always been the case that you perceive, you've been perceiving the world, the body, the mind, thoughts, memories have been, been, it's always been the case that all perceptions have been subordinate to you as a way of speaking. You've never actually been in the dream. So if you've never actually been in the dream, then you have never actually had a dream conversation. Because in order to have a dream conversation, you have to be in the dream. 
So having a dream conversation is an illusion. It's a dream <laughs> appearing in you. <laughs> you are the ultimate dreamer. <laughs> Thanks. Back to you, Holger. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank you, Mac. Mm -hmm. hmm.